we're a church just for children and youth in a depressed part of Louisville. And we've opened our doors to the entire community. And as you can kind of hear around us, uh, the kids have certainly responded. Right. One of the biggest things we've seen is a reduction in crime and the grades of the kids going up. We have several kids that come running in excited with their report cards um, and they're on our fridge at home. So, And we see the kids um, embracing their faith in a way that, that I wish we could replicate in big church. Um, their, their lives are truly being changed and they're catching fire and they're sharing. Emphasize these kids' potential and their ability to be leaders. And so we're seeing them begin to really dive into that. You know, they come in and before they didn't think they had any worth or potential or value. And now they're stepping up and leading in a dodgeball game or telling you know, another kid, hey, you need to be quiet at this point. But they're also leading each other outside of the building. So instead of getting into trouble, they're saying, hey, you know, maybe this isn't how we should be acting. We should try doing something else. You know, as you look around, uh, we, we don't have folks that, that can give. Um, and keeping the lights on, keeping the doors open, keeping the kids fed, keeping um, you know, the church open for them to be able to be here. Um, we, we run a tight ship here and we're very effective with what we have. This allows us to be able to continue doing what we're doing and maybe even expand what we're doing. To help the parents, we have so many parents that are unemployed, um, to help them be able to start finding jobs, do resumes, uh, do stuff like nutrition classes, um, to be able to uh, do finance classes with the families. Beyond that, being able to bring in more people to help these kids with tutoring this summer, we, we have a couple organizations that are bringing indoor gardens in here. Um, Norton Hospital continues to help us, and we're going to do cooking classes alongside those gardens. So being able to do things like that to really enrich what the kids uh, have available to them. Personally, where I've experienced the love of God is just when these kids come in and they're happy to see you, they're hugging you, they're wanting to tell you about their day. And, and for so many of these kids, when they come in here, um, they're kind of closed off, they're, they're scared, they're untrusting. And to see them blossom like this, to me, is just truly the love of God.